everybody. Hi, everybody. It has been a while. We uh, kind of been hibernating and incubating, and uh, mm-hmm. we're like that cocoon uh, with the uh, little caterpillar, and it turn into something. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, how you been feeling? Uh, today, I feel I feel good today. They gave me a break today, and also two days ago, they gave me nine hours break. Well, if you're wondering what you're, she's talking about, or if you're not a, having been following along, Marisa's uh, pregnant in the first trimester, and uh, has been undergoing uh, a pretty um, debilitating yeah. morning sickness. Morning and, sickness, uh, really bad. Yeah, so uh, we did a video about a week ago, or maybe even 10 days ago. It's been That's a while. Like, yeah, 10 days ago, I guess. Yeah, I felt really bad taking a break like that, because uh, it feels unnatural not uh, trying to Get a video out and uh, all that, but uh, we, it's been bad. It's been hard on her. It's been hard on all of us. Yeah. And uh, you haven't actually even uh, left the hotel here uh, in no. it, how many weeks? Three weeks. It's I ridiculous. think it's three weeks, Almost and I have like weeks. I have like three weeks more because I'm eight weeks right now and started in nine weeks. Three or four more weeks, mm-hmm. and then you'll be finished with the first trimester. Oh yeah. And then it should end by then, maybe lighten up along the way here. So to all women who are fighting for the first trimester right now, just don't give up and keep fighting it because it will be worth it at the end for your new baby born. And how many times did you tell me you think you're going to die? I'm going to die. Many times. I keep saying, honey, I can't take any more. Yeah. So it's (laughs) for I want my life back. (laughs) It's for real. It's... (laughs) Yeah. I guess we uh, kids only knew how much pain and suffering moms go through, and dads, and uh, but mostly moms, of course. I know. Yeah. So, well, enough about all that. What are we gonna do? We've right been giving now? it a lot of thought during this period of hibernation, uh, and we uh, have come to a realization that we're going to go back to the Philippines. Yes, uh, we are. We've given it an awful lot of thought. And are you ready? Come on in here, Philippines. Bria. Are you excited? Yeah. Is it a Brian? She's inside. Did you say hi? Mm-hmm. Hi, everybody. Yeah. So, are you excited to go back to Philippines again? Yep. Yeah. And meet my Auntie Joanne. Yeah. You're gonna see Auntie Joanne again and Auntie Amy, huh? Okay, Brian. So, going back inside now. We'll come back later. You can come back later, okay? Yes. So, after a great deal of uh, consideration and more investigating and and actually talking to doctors in the Philippines uh, and getting some good advice. Um, we we were, had some real concerns about uh, having the new baby born um, over there and dealing with uh, the American born abroad deal. Yeah. And uh, the more we look into it, it, it looks like it's not such a big thing. And it, it's actually a beneficial, there's some benefits to the baby being born in, the, in a foreign country. Uh, the baby will automatically have uh, a dual citizenship and could still buy land in the Philippines and, and st- uh, if they ever chose to uh, when, they, when the child got older. Um, you know, or could, uh, of course, has all the rights of being an American citizen as well. We just have to file some documents. But there's an awful lot of things we've been considering uh, aside from that. And a lot of it is just that, uh, you know, um, I love my country, but honestly, and a lot of you that have been following me for a long, us for a long time, uh, know that I'm really getting just simply bored with it all and uh, just not impressed about, and we're not happy here. Yeah. We're just simply not happy, and I could delineate a, a long list of reasons, but uh, all you have to do is um, watch the news at night, uh, and you'll, you'll get probably a, a portion of the reasons that I'm not interested anymore. Uh, but uh, I just don't see myself uh, uh, living here. Um, I do see myself coming back to uh, do things, uh, take care of business, and and. Uh, but we are even when we were over in the Philippines um, recently and decided to come back here for Brianna for, for Brianna for the new baby's birth. Um, I was really debating back then over in the Philippines about just staying there and uh, going uh, having the birth there, and then also. Um, you know, there's also the question about the green card. You know, we didn't want to give up the green card, and there are issues that, for that. But the more we look into that, we now we've been here one month, and we can't stand the place anymore. Yeah. And so, uh, any time we'd want to come back in the future, I'd probably come for one month, maybe two, if I had to. But if uh, you ever wanted, uh, Maurice want to ever come with uh, with me 
to the United States, uh, I don't think you would want to come for more than one month. I don't think so. And yeah, for me because Philippines really is my life over here. In America, I don't have anybody over here. I don't have my family over there. Is I got a big family over there, and I'm I'm half a year over there too than here. You know. Well, a lot of it just boils down to is uh, being happy there. There's plenty of hardships over there as well, so it's not the perfect place, but it's a happier place. And uh, for now, I, we just want to um, enjoy that over there. And um, there's a lot of benefits. Um, money goes a lot, lot, a lot further. Mm -hmm. You know, we we uh, feel very rich over there, and and we're very grateful. Uh, over here, people just uh, get by, and there's too much strife and struggle, and and, uh, and too many. Uh, unhappy people so yeah it's, it's true over here it's kind of a kind of an easy life because you have everything in your left and your right but yeah you can get a very nice house you can get a big, very nice big apartment like like we have our apartment recently we try to give deposit already deposit mm -hmm. money but we, we, did, yeah, give, we give it up we get you give it up yeah we did give a deposit on that apartment we featured in a past video But I talked to the general, the um, uh, community manager over there, and um, they're going to go ahead and give us back our deposit, which is very kind to them. That was a very, very nice place. Uh, but for that seventeen hundred a month, we can um, enjoy a really nice lifestyle and have plenty of money for uh, the new baby yeah. and making plans. We can save a lot of money in Philippines than living here. Mm -hmm. The thing about in America is the people they got a really big nice house or big nice apartment but they are working every day to just to pay the house the mortgage and the rentals and the food so the money that you earn from your work it's enough to pay for everything so you don't have left over so that's all i can see it's it's kind of not really happy life so it's not really the life what we're looking for, especially I'm gonna have a two kids right now. Oh, that's right. You're, you're like you're killing your own self, like you're hanging your neck in a roof. That's yeah. all I can say. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a slow, slow death. Uh, the, what I think makes it tolerable for people is uh, the materialism here is uh, there's anything you want here we have the, um, the best of many things materially uh, but uh, we have a lot of other issues that aren't so good that are kind of destroying um, um, people and um, slowly and they don't even realize it but the drug of choice uh, here in America is in my opinion materialism that's the drug of choice and then on top of that you've got uh, half or more of the country on pharmaceutical pills on painkillers and on antidepressants and then about the working thing you've got uh, both parents have to work and so now these both parents um, feel um, obliged to have children because that's the American or the, uh, the uh, the goal of parents is, you know, to have children. So they want to fulfill that mission, but they're really not fit to do that when they're both working. Because now you've got to send your kid to daycares, which are extremely uh, unsafe. Uh, they're ridiculous. And uh, I would never in my life ever send a child to daycare in this country. I would, and uh, well, we just don't do that. So yeah, there's a, a lot of things to consider um, over here. So. Um, yeah, the drug of choice is materialism, and that gets people, um, That's they tolerate a lot of things because of the goodies they, they can get here. And they live in those big houses, and they, they uh, have their bubbles, their bubbles, and they associate with people that think the way they do, and they have very, very strong opinions. Um, and everyone has their own conflicting opinions, and, and uh, so that's not a good thing. So, yeah, we're not inter interested in joining in any of that and so we're gonna say uh, goodbye USA and we're not gonna worry about the green card that's another big issue No, I'm not worried about it for the other people it's really big deal for them but for me I'm not gonna stay in a place that I'm not happy I want to stay in a place where I am happy so I you know I don't care about it so well, it's my own decision mm -hmm. and I'm I'm into it well, you're not going to be working anyway. The reason people want green cards they want is to work. they want to work over here. 
like a dog and they want to uh, work until they drop but in the meantime they send money back to their countries anyway like they do in Mexico and they do it all over the world they do it well, back to the Philippines yeah well I find out too that even if I if I surrender my green card to them I can still get a tourist visa to come over to Philippines to visit I mean to America to visit again so there is no problem even if I surrender it to them no problem I can get my tourist visa for like three months yeah to just visit here the beauty of that is three months is more uh, than that's enough a lot, time. Yeah. Like we're ready to go back tomorrow, but we got we're going to make a, a good plan and send a lot of things. We'll be doing ballot pine box. Uh, we're going to send over, and uh, we have a lot of preparation to do. But um, we're going to go back o uh, over there. But yeah, three months on a on a visa for you to come to the United States is more than enough time for us over here. Yeah, and we probably won't even stay that long. We we'll probably only stay uh, a month or a month and a half when we come back in the future. If we, I'll be coming back probably once uh, a year. I, I should be back here uh, in the States around uh, April. Um, the baby, sh the new baby should be born around March 15th or thereabouts, between March 15th and mm -hmm. April 1st. Mm -hmm. I'll be back here in April to take care of some things uh, and also s probably send another ballot buying box over. And also, my family is going to be in there when I give birth. There's Joanne and Amy, the beautiful life. And my mom, she said that she's going to come over and help me with a new baby. So that's a good thing because in America, I don't have anybody helping me mm -hmm. when I give birth to Bria. And I got really a lot of good things over there in Philippines. Yes, it's true. It's kind of a hard, the people over there is kind of hard life over there because, you know, it's kind of poor country. But everybody's happy and everybody is adventure and, and journey in your life. So, and mm -hmm. over here in America, it's kind of boring life. You got everything, it's not adventure. So that's why we're trying to do the decision that we're gonna go back to Philippines. Well, it's, it's an adventure for people that want it to be over here, you know. It's just that we don't want it to be an adventure for us anymore. I've, yeah, we took three trips back and forth across the country all over looking and, and uh, checking things out, but just, um, just don't, our heart isn't in it, so you have to follow your heart, very simple. Follow your heart, whatever you yeah, feel. Follow your intuition. Mm -hmm. uh, I was talking to a guy the other day at the playground when uh, I was with Brianna, and uh, I was talking to the guy, and it turned, and I talked about uh, following your intuition and uh, it's your guiding light, and you have to uh, be uh, still and, uh, and try to uh, understand uh, who you are and what you really want. And he says, oh, I don't believe in intuition. I, mm. He said, I don't believe in God or intuition. And I go, well, you know what? You, you're going to fit in really good right here in America. You just stay right here. I didn't tell him that, though. <laughs> no. I wouldn't do that. I just said, oh, okay, well. Yeah, like, um, like my mom. I told my mom everything about here. And then she said, well, if you're not happy here, come home. We're happy over here. Even if this is our life only, for a simple life. Mm -hmm. But we're happy. We're happy every day. So come home. I don't want you to get stress over there yeah and another thing is the is the uh, medical over in the philippines uh, for the uh, child uh, what do you call it prenatal care prenatal. Uh, there's a clinic just uh, about a half a kilometer from our apartment over there at uh, marpaz mm -hmm. in valencia um, and uh, we can have checkups there if we want or we can go to Suleiman Sul and uh, have checkups and you know cost uh, ten dollars to see the doctor for a checkup and uh, that, that as far as the birth goes, we can check in if we want to. We, are, we like to home birth, but it's illegal in the Philippines now. No, no more home birth in But Philippines. we can still um, go into Silliman uh, in a private room mm -hmm. uh, with a, um, a, a doctor and have the baby born. Uh, the private room for the night is $100, but it's really nice. So hopefully we'll be back in the Philippines around um, the 10th of October, I would think, yeah. somewhere around the somewhere like week there, yeah. here or there. Prices are real good, mm. really good right now. Yeah, like round trip is like 600. 667.47. Yeah, great time to, to go back over there. Yeah. Yeah. So we've mm -hmm. already uh, getting our uh, apartment uh, lined up over there. Mm -hmm. um, so that's a, that's nice that they're uh, taking care of us. Yeah, and we're going to send a lot of Balik Bayan from stuff from here to Philippines. So after the baby's born, we're going to register the uh, baby's birth certificate right there in the, we're going to go to Manila. It's like one hour and a half from Dumaguete to Manila. And there's a big U.S. Embassy building over there. And there's also uh, social security next to that building. So everything is right there. 
All right, so we can get uh, the. Uh, we had to get the baby a name. I don't want to keep saying new baby. <laughs> well, we don't know if it's a boy or a girl, uh, so I guess we, we don't have a name yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's okay. So we have to get the baby when it's born, a Social Security uh, card, <laughs> and we have to uh, get the uh, document filed for the baby born abroad. And uh, what, uh, whatever else at the time comes up. Yeah. But we'll probably stay uh, maybe a week or two in Manila. Uh-huh. There's a, a lot of nice hotels and stuff there. I've never been to Manila, so that'd be um, great to visit uh, Manila and mm-hmm. uh, see what that's all about. I've heard it's very hectic, and uh, but I've heard a lot of people like it. Yeah. I hear mixed mixed reviews on that, depending yeah. on what you're doing. So this is a, maybe a this is a surprise. We are going to stay here for a year. Remember? I know. Yeah. All of a sudden, we just think that America is not really for us. We're just going to follow our hearts, and we have to do it. We have to do it. We have to do it. So whatever you feel, follow your heart. That's the important thing. And everything will work out. And everything will be work out. Even though I have those uh, painful pig's eye boils, a couple <laughs> of those, and I, I got... It's over I'm now. healing. Yeah, that's... Uh, healed up I, I hope not to see any more of those but yeah. uh, I'm still going back and what other what other kind of thing oh we get that cough don't we yeah the cough the cough we, we got it. medicine we might not get it this time <laughs> but uh, we uh, sure love the people it's so enjoyable and uh, yeah such a friendly uh, friendlier happier place happier place on earth hey Bria you excited about going back to the Philippines yeah you yeah. gonna see Auntie Joanne again yeah yeah that would be exciting, and uh, you're going to get to go to that school, private school, and there's only two teachers per 15 kids, Yeah. yeah. and it's very secure, and I hope you enjoyed it. You're going to have fun there. Yeah, because she's kindergarten, so they will accept her any time, any month she gets yeah. in. That's what I Yeah, heard. school already started a, a couple months ago over there. June. Yeah, June. So, yeah. All right, we'll talk to you guys later and see you in the comment section. Bye, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. I think you started in kindergarten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah.